Hey everyone, Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. I want to do a unique tutorial here and I wanted to show you how you can basically segment your data based on any measure, okay? And how you can utilize Enterprise DNA's resources to be able to do it, okay? So what I'm going to do, some, some of these some of these resources are actually in, in courses at Enterprise DNA Online. So you might have to do um, to upgrade to a particular course or upgrade to membership. But I, I want to you, you will get a lot out of just the techniques that I'm going to showcase, even if you can't download um, the resource yourself. But it is also a good opportunity to see, you know, how many resources are actually made available and how you could utilize these to be able to showcase so many different insights into your data it's 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 out of this world how how flexible and versatile this sort of analysis is okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to jump um, to the enterprise dna support forum here so i'm just going to go forum.enterprisedna.co and then what you can do within our forum obviously you can ask question you know, a variety of different questions but you can also dive into I'm just going to log in myself. You can actually dive into all of our content at, at our portal, right? And so I'll just show you. So um, I'm just going to go portal.enterprisedna.co. And so this is where all of our courses are. And, and what you can do is you can actually um, go how to search for content. And what that will do is it actually will bring you to this particular area uh, in our forum, okay? And I can then click on this Enterprise DNA Online, and it um, shows me all of the uh, tutorials that are bundled into a variety of different courses here at Enterprise DNA Online. So if you want to look at something, find something very specific like segmentation, for example, I can actually find it. I can I can just go segment. I can just start, start typing in something, and then I could say segment. So there's lots of different examples here, and you see here they're all tagged Enterprise DNA Online. They're going to take you to specific videos, okay? And I've got grouping and segmenting your data with DAX Measure Logic, right? So this is a this is a good good one I could use. I could use segmenting dimensions based on ranking, detailed banding and segmenting example showing movements of customer segments through time, segment data based on percentage groups. So all of these different ones, you can actually click on them. So I'm going to click on it and it will take me to through to that particular video and that particular course uh, in, in the, the correct course, right? And so we'll just wait till it loads here. And it's going to take me to this particular course and then I can also I can actually view this video but then what I can do is I can actually click and download it as well and this is how I'm going to show you how we can segment based on anything right first of all I get to the particular resource that I want you know this is this is a, this this does require an upgrade um, but once I get there I'm going to open up the um, particular uh, file I'm going to open up I've downloaded it I'm opening it up inside a Power BI desktop and then I'm going to show you how versatile you know these functions are. You could you could utilize this this, this resource. You could copy this um, particular formula idea into your own models, etc. There's just so many different ways that you could utilize these, right? And then you'll see here that there's lots of other examples as well. This is just this is just one. I think I think now there's there's probably over about 270 maybe examples that you can leverage off uh, in some way, shape, or form. Okay, and I'll just fix this up. Looks like there's some these these themes are great now. By the way, um, I highly recommend diving into these themes um, or utilizing these themes. I mean, it's, it's, it's compared to compared to how ridiculously complex it used to be. This is this is actually um, you know this is actually you know great. You know what they've, what what they've done here. Okay, so what I've got here, I'm going to dive into. This is we've got we've got some some grouping set up here. And if I come and have a look in the back here, we'll have likely, you know, some groups here, right? We've got we've got some groups and we're grouping from low, mid, high, min and max. This is the sort of table that you need to set up when doing sort of any type of segmenting, right? And if I come in here, you'll see that we're actually grouping our, our customers by their margins, right? Well, what I want to do is maybe not margins. Well, maybe maybe I actually want to group based on something else. Maybe I want to I want to group based on say profits or something. Well, all I need to do there is basically copy the techniques that are showcased here. 
So you see we've got um, a, a grouping or segmenting function here. Well, I could copy this particular function and um, this, this formula pattern, if you like, and then rearrange the, um, the parameters or the inputs within it to then suit the segment, segmenting that I might want to do. You know, I might want to segment my customers based on their uh, profits. I might want to segment my stores based on their, their sales. I might want to um, segment my salespeople by their um, performance over benchmark. You know, all of these different things could be um, could be done with similar similar patterns, right? And this is just well, basically exactly the same pattern, just different inputs. All you need to do is you need to first of all create a table that has your groupings, it has your min, and it has your max, right? So you know, if you're if you're trying to um, work uh, to segment your customers or your salespeople ba based on their performance versus budgets, right? Well, you might have you know, um, you know, high high percentage over budget versus average percentage over budget versus low percentage over budget, and then you have the, the ranges in which you wanted to place those in, right? Then what you would do is you would then utilize this exact formula pattern, and you would say, okay, well, I want to show, I want to show the um, the say profits, right? I want to see the the overall profits based on my cust my salespeople, and then I want to work through my um, my my table that I have generated based on their performance versus um, versus budgets, and then I want to say, well, if they if their budget amount is greater than a min and less than greater than or equal to a min and less than a max, then I want to in, um, them I want to include them in that particular group. And in all of your all of your different um, salespeople in that example, they'll always go into one group if your ranges are appropriate, right? If you've got everything within you know if you set up your ranges so that every type of result lies within it okay so that's just one you know this is just one example you could do but you know you've got a lot of flexibility here right what you could do instead if you wanted to see more well you could have a play around in here and you could you could jump back into the forum and click back into where you're looking before and you could potentially have a look for another example like segmenting dimensions based on ranking so we could click into that and so these are all all videos and tutorials that have been developed um, over time right and we could click into you know we wanted to do some sort of segmenting type um, grouping well we've got the video here we could then download this and then dive into um, this scenario right and you what you'll find what you'll find is a, a very 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 similar technique right the just the the for, the parameters have been adjusted to deal with the type of grouping that we're trying to do because in this particular example we're trying to group based on where someone is ranked versus an outright number like profits or revenues or margins or whatever i love segmenting type analysis because it it it, it brings in a a type of analysis that isn't available to you um, just by your raw data, right? Because you need to find a way to, um, you know, it, it builds on top of your data. That's what I'm trying to say. It builds on top of your data and how um, and how you are um, analyzing, you know, deeper, you know, key insights, right? Instead of just looking at results as they are produced, like um, say, you know, the outright results, we're actually adding a bit more color and we're actually looking at or well, how have um you know how, how have people changed their what what are the groups changed through time i mean that's one way we could we, we could look at it so let's have a look at this particular example here so in this particular example what we have here is if i can just expand it and, and this, this is a, this is a different technique in itself um, it probably could be a little bit clearer to be honest, but basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to group our um, we're trying to group our cities based on how they are ranked, basically how they are ranked for their I think it's um, margin change. I think it's margin change. Or oh, let's have a look. Um, yeah, it's their it's their city sales rank, right? That's that's how we have their overall city sales rank. 
And so what I've done here instead, and this is another great technique, is I've used the switch function and I've said, okay, well, if the uh, region is, or the city sales rank is greater than 35, then it's the worst. And then if it's less than 10, uh, greater than 10, then it's okay. If it's less than or equal to 10, it's the best. Okay. And what this has done, and I think what I've done here is if we have a look, if we, if we have a quick look at the regions table, this is actually being done inside of the table itself, inside of the lookup table itself. So if we come into our model, you'll see the regions table sits up here. And I've done this particular work inside of here. We've created a ranking based on sales for all the different um, regions, um, all the different um, yeah, all the different regions, and then, and it basically it's cities because we've just referenced the um, regions table, then we've got total sales, and then we're, we're evaluating based on that ranking, you know, what is their particular group, and then I've fed that group into here. So another really interesting and, and um, effective way to do some grouping, okay? So hopefully, you know, just by seeing those two examples, you've seen, you know, the potential of numerous different ways that you can group your data and also how you can utilize a lot of the um, great um, resources that are available at Enterprise DNA online and through um, through all of our different um, uh, content avenues uh, on our on our sites particularly our forum um, which has which is which has um, become quite a central piece of how how uh, our members interact with us okay uh, I think we'll, we'll stop there. This one's um, gone on for a little while. So look, hopefully you got some good ideas there. Definitely throw the video a like if you, um, you, if you, if you enjoyed it and got something out of it. Always appreciate that. And don't forget to subscribe. Lots of, lots of cool content coming out to you very soon. All the very best. Talk to you soon.